Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We have another DIY here and it is going to be a pumpkin DIY. And let me go ahead and show you the materials that we'll be using for this project. Very simple, very easy. So I have this one that I went ahead and made and I will show you exactly the uh, materials that I use to create this little project. So I grabbed these, and when I saw these at Dollar Tree, uh, I automatically thought, oh, what about if I made these into pumpkins? So they are the foam dice, as you see there, and it is a four pack. And so I went ahead and made an example here. And uh, so I decided that I was going to uh, just uh, chalk paint these and then uh, turn them into pumpkins. So here are the other three here. And then, like I said, I used the Waverly uh, chalk paint in white. And then I had this orange still on hand. This is from the Dollar Tree as well. And so uh, to create this, all I did was I chalk painted it first because I needed to cover up, as you can see, you know, I needed to cover all this up. So I went ahead and I chalk painted it. And then uh, I think I used, I wanna say two layers of chalk paint, I believe. And then after that was nice and dry, then I went in with my orange. And uh, so I can show you some step-by-steps on that. And uh, let me go ahead and get started with chalk painting. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and go uh, on from there. But uh, I, thought, I just thought it was so precious. I love the way that it turned out. Very rustic. And I thought it would be cute sitting up on a shelf. So uh, let me go ahead and get started with uh, chalk painting this, and then I'll be right back here shortly. This is what we have so far, so I do need to paint the bottoms as you see, but uh, I have uh, painted them white. I may have to put some uh, more on there. You can kind of see through a little bit on this one, and then I have to go ahead and add the, uh, the orange. So I just want to show you the progress so far. And then once I get the orange uh, painted, then I'll show you how I uh, decorated with the stem. I think that I lost some of my footage there, y'all. I went back and I noticed that it wasn't recording. I'm not sure what happened there, uh, but uh, I think that I lost the part that I added the sticks here. Um, I have a long stick here and I uh, cut the pieces off and you see I attached the stick to the top with some hot glue. And, uh, and then I had some floral wire that I added there as well uh, to the tops. So I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, but uh, let me, I, I got some more of these little curly Q pieces here. And uh, like I had mentioned, which I don't know where, I don't know if it wasn't recording or what. You don't have to, I mean, I'm used to sticks because I like the rusticness but you could add something else in the place of, uh, for your stem. And then also, I like the little curly Q pieces. You don't have to add those. Uh, you can add leaves, that would be cute as well. So I'm just saying you could customize it however you wanted to. I think these would be cute to even give, <clears throat> to give as a gift to someone. Uh, and, uh, or you know, you could make them for yourself and set up. Uh, this would be something easy that you can do with the kids, minus the hot glue gun, of course. So, um, you know, I, I think it's a cute little craft. And actually, I came up with this idea all on my own. Uh, when I was in Dollar Tree, this piece, piece can stick well. <laughs> I'm having a time, y'all. Um, you know, when I was in Dollar Tree, I found these and I was like, oh my gosh, these would be so cute as pumpkins. It's just something that just popped in my head uh, at the time when I saw the dice. I just, I don't know. It's just something I thought that uh, would, uh, I, I just thought it'd be something that would be a cute little project. So. All right, 
right, so let me add these other two onto this one here and we will be finished with this. And then I'll show you a little bit closer up what they look like. I'm not sure if it was part of the footage that I got. So let me go ahead and mention this just in case it wasn't. Um, I did have to paint these, uh, the chalk paint, I had to put about three layers. And then the orange, I had to also add about three layers. So it was a little time consuming uh, to get them painted. Uh, I chose the white chalk paint because I know with projects that that chalk paint works real well to cover up a lot of stuff. Uh, and I know that with these being dice, uh, you see that it had like the, um, uh, you know, you know what the, the dice looks like. So, I mean, I had to uh, cover all that up. But uh, it was time consuming during the day to let that dry and, and everything. But other than that, it was a quick and uh, real easy project. And so let me go ahead and get them in a little bit closer here. Oh, I just love the way that they turned out. I just think they're so adorable. Let me move. And I've got strands yet yeah, everywhere. Okay, let me move this one over and then put the bigger one in the back. I just love the way they turned out. I think they're just so cute. And like I said, they're rustic looking. You can make them your own style. They don't have to exactly look like this, but uh, this is what I came up with. So I'm gonna fix this one right here. I don't like, I didn't like the position of uh, my little curly piece. So, but um, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment. I love hearing y'all's sweet comments. And uh, if you haven't already and you're visiting for the first time, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and uh, go back and check out some of my other videos that I have as well. I have uh, another DIY after this one coming y'all's way. And I believe that's gonna be my last fall DIY. And Let's see, is there anything? Oh, and then I also have my Thanksgiving home tour as well that I'm gonna have to try to hurry up and get, you know, out before Thanksgiving. So that way y'all can uh, see how I decorated for the Thanksgiving season. So, uh, all right, y'all. Well, I think that's all that I have for today. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.